It's perfect. All right, you guys, good morning and good midday. Beautiful day. We have lots to be thankful for. We can start that gratitude uh, early. I think it's um, relieving. So we're talking about the exhale and the ability to stay liquid and soften the knees because it's been so tight. So now maybe we can reach up to the sky and contact high with all those great gods and guides. You guys can check out the spider webs in your ceiling. Oh, hi, mom. There's a mom there. <laughs> Isn't it nice outside? It's gorgeous. See, good variety. Check up, connect with the cosmos, and then let's rock. So elbows go back, pelvis rolls, chest pops forward, breathing in and breathing out. Hi, Udon, come on. Udon, come on. It's time for yoga. It's time for your prance over here. This is Udon, the famous Udon. <laughs> They say he looks like a llama. You look like a llama. You've seen him before. One of our classes, he had a grass attack early on in March. <laughs> and easy. Go ahead and rub your hands together. Oh, he says, I'm the center of attention. <laughs> really? It's good to see you all in person. Thank you so much. Get your hands nice and warm, and on your exhale, gently cup your palms over your eyes, straighten your spine, relax the shoulders, soften your belly. Breathe in and breathe out. Invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath. Invite yourself to be your breath, breathe your breath, and follow your breath to your yoga, the yog seated and rooted in the earth, that internal <clears throat> inside void, tingling and trembling as we yearn for conscious con contact. Invite yourself to befriend yourself and to participate in your healing. Let's breathe in and go up into happy Buddha. Wow, we don't have any clouds. Hopefully none of you have any clouds. If you do, just separate them. Open up the wood in your ceilings. And easy, move out through your energetic body just softly. See how you feel today. It's feeling better. Go ahead and ground yourself. Yeah, gather all that sweetness right into your heart. And then sweetly inhale, lift your arms up overhead, stretch way up, look up, reach long in the side body, and then softly let the hands float out and land on your knees. Lift your chest up, arc forward in front of your ankle bones and spin your torso around. Try and kind of fall back behind your tailbone, loosen up the lower back, <clears throat> the golfing back. <laughs> now that you're here, you'll get stiff, <laughs> Mr. Noble. And then reverse, spin around, make sure you loosen up, go way back behind your tailbone so that you get that scooped out in your belly, ribs pressing out to the side. Good. And easy, let's stretch the arms out, up and overhead, twine the thumbs, look up, tongue out, exhale. <sighs> Through your stomach, not a big giant lion. Inhale, exhale, open your throat. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> tongue in, head up. Inhale a little more. 
And exhale, can leave it out over the edge of your mat. Arms, oh, good job. Arms <laughs> are long, ears are between the upper arms. Chest is forward. Are you breathing, Lee? Tailbone. <laughs> Tailbone is connected. Chin is a little bit up off the notch. You want to keep that collarbone open so the throat breathes. Stretching, almost tipping over. Remember, this is Brenda at the Grand Canyon. We didn't lose her, so there is some connection to the earth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Inhale and lift up. And then exhale, round back behind your tailbone. Scoop it out. Stretch your fingers way forward. Good. Open up your mountain gates. Put some energy in your knees. Swing a little bit side to side. And then roll your hips. Anchor your sit bone. Inhale, lift up. Look up. Right arm to the knee. Work at the diagonal off your knee, not behind. And then simply just pulse off to the side. Good. Good job. Oh, it's so nice to see all of you. Keep your chin up a little bit, Andrew. Luke, I can just still see your head. I love it. <laughs> and your arm. And then easy. Rebound up softly. Happy cactus. Keep the dingle dangles up and spin side to side. Go wild. You probably don't go wild enough anymore. I mean, <laughs> go wild. We've been so contained. So go wild, like la, 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 la. <laughs> so obedient. <laughs> and then go, <laughs> hello, go to the right side. Dive on down over that knee. Fingertips in the earth, elbows up, crown of the head towards the knee. Roll a little bit in forward on your sit bones. Torque your upper torso so the heart is over the thigh. Let the crown of the head surrender towards the earth. Keep your left leg engaged, breathing, softening. Good job. Oh, it feels so good. And then Mitchy march around, chip, 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 chip. That's a yoga word, chip, 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 chip. Right arm is going to go outside the thigh, lift up nice and straight, and look over your left shoulder towards the mountains. There you go. <laughs> Eyes are open wide. Eyeballs are in the edge of the sockets, torquing and twisting that body. You can let that left arm go behind you a little more, Linda. Yeah, look up here. So you can, ah. And easy, back into the center, shimmy and shake. Shimmy and shake. Sweep the arms out, up and overhead, inhale. Humbly exhale, sliding down the heart line, dedicating this breath to your body, to the honor and the privilege of housing the spirit in this most sacred of temples, in this vessel, this opportunity to occupy, to expand, direct your breath to any areas of your body that you know could use a little extra healing. Settle into the groundedness. Slide your hands down and shift your feet. Hello, darling. Fingers are out nice and long. That's good. You can come sit right here if you want. Thank you. Arms up and overhead and down. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Perfect. Three more. One more. Hold your arms up. Breathe in a little more. And slide <laughs> the hands down. Oh, my God, you're too cute. Hands in front of the knees. Lift up and spin around. Really spin. <laughs> oh, you're happy. Free. <laughs> yep, that's not down dog. <laughs> Elbows are up. Move those ribs, Terry. Come on, I know. <laughs> and reverse. Spin around. 
Yes. Spin around. Massage your organs and your love handle. And that whatever we have that's extra. The, <laughs> no, I hate those pants. They sell them at Walmart. <laughs> they come back in the center. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Lift your arms up and overhead. Twine the awkward thumb. Drop the head back. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> Ribs to the side. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, head up, tongue in, pleasant face. Stretch longer. And then dive on out. Don't fall, but dive on out. Stretch. Your fingertips are in the same line as the back of your skull, as your spine, and over the back of your rump. Rump. Like roast. Like roast. <laughs> Stretch the spine. <laughs> Can't leave it out over the edge. Long and spacious. Breathe in, breathe out. Good job. Strong's a little higher there, Andrew. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, round back behind your tailbone. Scoop out the belly. Really open up the mountain gates. Stretch forward. Feel yourself using the inner thighs so you don't tip over. Breathing. And then roll the pelvis, anchor the sit bones, extend through the lower lumbar, stack the vertebra, expand and look up, and left hand comes down by the knee. Lift up and angle out. Oh, one side is always more tight than the other. Jane, how are you doing, okay? Be careful. Oh, nice. Hi, my girls from Shakti. Oops, three more. And then easy, rebound up, happy cactus. Lift up this stuff, right? What's it called? The dingle dangles. <laughs> you know, you don't want to be down. We want as much expansion, as much oxygenation as possible. Spin side to side, let your head go. Ah, full range of motion, the mobility. Mm. And then easy, end up back at your left side and down we go. Dive on down, elbows up, crown of the head towards the knee. Roll a little bit forward on your sits bones and anchor your right thigh. So you just surrender the crown of your head to your knee, to the earth. Spin your torso slightly. <laughs> <laughs> breathing in, breathing out. You guys should be outside Palm Springs, mom and daughter. You should have come visit us. And then easy, Mitchy march around, chip, 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 chip. Left arm outside the thigh, open up the chest, look over your right shoulder, eyes are wide into the edge of the sockets. Breathe in, breathe out. Really give yourself a good anchor on that left thigh. Keep the opposite part of your body organized so that you can stack your shoulders, lift your chin. You can take that left arm hand off of the ground, Lee. Just let it torque. There you go. Roll the shoulders down and back. Two more breaths. One, two. And easy, unfold, arms up and overhead, reach up and humbly slide down the heart line. You know this part, dedicating this breath to your mind and dedicating the next breath to your sweet, most radiant, kind and compassionate soul. Dedicate the breath to your creativity, that bursting, sparkling light, that kind curiosity. Anchoring yourself at your heart center. Scanning quickly through the body, noticing how you are. And you know, we sit on the earth and then below us is the whole sea of water. And above us is the cosmos. 
<laughs> Sweet breeze, arms up and overhead. Arc back behind you, roll the hips, fold the knees. Let's kick out the legs. Pull your rump back, your rump. Inside thighs, get those meridians going. I have to apologize. I've noticed that my feet are like always dirty. I wash them and put oil on and walk around. And all of a sudden my feet are like, I looked at them the other day. I went, oh my God. So I'm putting them to the side. And then do the belly. <laughs> get that round, get the digestion going, baby. Let's go around to the kidneys softly. You can bend the knees a little bit. Ah, filtration system and side body, side lungs, huge expansiveness, lymphatics in the armpits, circulation on the skin. And then you come across the top, thymus and thyroid. Ah, ah. Yeah, get those well being points. Circulation, we've been so stagnant. Yeah, we've just been, Arr. I just did some videos yesterday. I said, don't mention what time of year it is. Don't mention the COVID. I said, what? I said, we want to use it for a long time. I said, well, all right then. Most of us are pretty imbued with what the restrictions are. Pull your bums back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bow down, go, ah. <laughs> Bounce the knees, wiggle the toes, check out your pedicure, Johnny Chakra. <laughs> How is it, Mr. Noble? Did you get your pedicure yet? <laughs> Good. Chin up off the notch. Make sure you have free flow of the oxygen. Oh, she's almost there. Hands offside the body. Slide the hands back to your shins, toes to the nose, shoulders down, chest forward. Little toe angles towards your earlobe. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out, shoulders down, chest forward. Oh, good. Wow, a wild toe. The left. <laughs> and then point the toes, open the top of the feet. Think about that. Open the top of the feet, activate the midline so that the ankle bones come together, the um, calves pull in, knees together. Arc out and over, claw yourself forward. Good job. Breathe in, breathe out. And then push the heels again, little toes to the ears. Oh, David, how are you? You're on your chair, the king on his throne. Breathe in, breathe out. Be careful. Kim, I don't see you, but... Welcome. Open the top of your feet again. Make your legs like spears, ankle bones together. Squeeze that midline. Get yourself organized so you have the calves together, the inner knees, your chest lifting up and over, breathing in, breathing out. Good job. And then push the heels and let's go. Stack the vertebra, tailbone, lower lumbar, mid back, up, overhead, bow down. Stack the vertebra, sweep up. Ah, sweep up. Ah, sweep up, undulating. Ah, beautiful. Just feel that ability of the spine with its little discs that begin to get plumped up. Three more, one for the body, ah, one for the spirit. Oh, good job, Santa Cruz, and one for the mind. <laughs> and inhale, hold your arms up overhead. Separate the hands by the side, and let's pop up. Picnic table. Fingers face your heels. Knees are out over the feet. Shake out your moneymaker. Hi, what a day. You're so glad you're here. Roll the shoulders together, stretch your thighs out. Check that right foot, Linda. Keep it in parallel, knees over your foot, leg comes up, roll the foot around. <laughs> Are you breathing, Connie? 
Okay, that's good. <laughs> she says, we don't do this so much back. <laughs> Strong on the ground. Breathing. Lower down, easy. Open up, shoulders together, knees reaching away from your body. What are those, butterflies? Bougainvillea leaves. Bougainvillea leaves. Inhale, lift your head up, drop your tail. Really? Yeah. Okay, then. There are these. Who knew? Here we go, prancing, sit in front of your pillow, slide something behind the bottom. This is kind of the regular class today. Point your little toes, sit your chest up. Thighs are right next to your ribs. Ah. <laughs> What's that thing they do, clogging? Uh-oh. <laughs> I know, really. And then easy, hold both thighs at your chest, drop your shoulders, lengthen your neck, put on a happy face, suck in your belly. Oops, cheap, what's it called? Something. Ha, huh. stretch out the legs. What? Hold it up, look up over your toes. Careful, Sherry. Squeeze the inner legs together. Come along, darling. Arriba. Up. <laughs> Up. Part Arriba. Toes off the ground. Just a little. Arms by the side. Look up. Ah, breathe one. Inner line together. Two. Three. Up. Oh, one. No frowning. <laughs> Up, out, and over. Ah. Big breath. <laughs> now I get to see you. <laughs> Breathe in. Danny, relax your left shoulder. Oh, it's the chair. Okay, good. And easy. Walk your hands back in. Let's try it again. It's really about strengthening the two muscles that run on either side of your spine. It involves your low belly and your quads. But if you think about keeping the wing bones in and slide down so that you have this upper torso engaged, tilt back a little bit, get your little toes, squeeze your mula banda, look at your toes, smile kind of. Shoulders down, squeezing, very good. Good, and you can keep them like this. You can take your arms by the side. Good job, you can straighten if you want a little more. Chest is up, legs together, breathing. What, Johnny? <laughs> Knees together, breathing, one, two, a little higher, three, uh, up, out, and over. Shufa, good job. Rock a little bit side to side. Welcome to glorious weather. And then walk your hands back on in. Let's go easy. Oh, hello. <sighs> she shook your big toes. <laughs> I don't like this one, but some people, oh, you're very good in the hips. Who knew? So that's always a black screen right there <laughs> in person for six months, right? Mm -hmm. Eight months, never seen them in the face, wow. in the flesh. No, always saying hello to everybody, always really great. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 oh, how cute. Rock back. It's so nice. It's sweet. You know, we have this funny community. I thank you for that. Grateful for you all. Lift up. If you can't grab your toe, you can go, oh, good job. You can grab your ankle. Oh, hello. The can can move. <laughs> I can, I can. Swing that leg. Feel it in the joint, in the hip socket. That's good. <sighs> 
And then easy. Bring it back in and slide the thigh back into your armpit. Knee into the armpit. Chest pops forward. Lengthen the spine. Add a little action, a binding or a circulation upwards in your chikimula. You know that's a town in Guatemala, actually. Uh-huh. It's actually, I met someone from Chikimula. Take your left leg out. Swing, swing. You can hold the calf if you need to. A little bigger. Come on, Ohio. You have to go home. So we'll get you as wild and loose as a goose out here. <laughs> they won't know what happened. <laughs> Sunburned, suntan. Easy, and take that leg, slide it back. Roll your hips so you can really feel good. Perfect. Breathing. Long spine, long neck. Now, action, action, both heels. Oh, careful. Sit in front of your pillow. That's good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mula Banda, girls. <sighs> That's the free massage. Shoulders down, good. Chest up. Push through the heels. And easy, starfish, reach, chest up, legs high. What, what, what? Come on, girl. Nope. Um, and grab them back. Good job. Oh, I know. That's the hard part. Pull the legs together. Arms up by the side. Arms up by the side. Arms up by the side. Two more. One more. What about and over? Ah, right? Ah. Careful, Jane. Careful, David. You know what you're doing. The man in the chair. Andrew, you all right? Will? Okay. Oh, it's cute hairdo, Luca. <laughs> That's all you see. Come back into the center. Walk your hands back in. Roll the shoulders, drop the knees back. Let's go and stretch out your quads. Feet are nice and wide to the end of the mat, to the side of the mat. Make sure your feet are really wide so both knees get down. Yeah, it's kind of a sassy move. They're talking about bringing Marilyn back, right? I know, and all these people are going, ah, oh, so feminist. Me too. Promoting something, they said promoting. I don't know. Is this people so argumentative? Side to side. Loosen up those hips. This is good for you, Terry. This is golf course moves. Ah, I know. Good. Here we go. Let's go off to the left side. Boom, boom. Good. Get both knees down, Danny. Tuck your feet a little closer to your body and thrust that right hip up. Ah. Good, see if you can lift up both buns off the ground. Oh, does that feel good or what? Yes? No? Down we go, pulse a little more, and here we go. Gonna take that hip, take that right arm, turn your lower arm away from your body and twist. Look over your left shoulder as far as you can. Good job. And then you can reach out with that right leg. Stretch that right leg. Beautiful. Yep. Knock your water over. Find your shoes. Eyes are really stretched a little further, Connie. Reach the, arm, the leg. Yes. Ah, very nice, Sherry. She loves this. Good, Brenda, in the, in the flesh. Arms up and overhead, and slide the leg back in. <sighs> Feet are wide, side to side. You good? Okay. <sighs> Jane, be careful on the side that bothers you. Good, keep the feet wide, babe. 
And then we're off to the right side. Pulse, pulse. Oh, Udon, you've disrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Should have disrupted my mom's activity. <laughs> I'm not getting all the attention. Push, push, lift up. Oh. Just creating a lot of space, pulling your unattached ribs away from your thighs. That's great. And lower down and let's thrust. Turn the lower hand away from your body and spin. Look over your right shoulder. Eyes are really wide. Oh, how cute. Hi. Meow, meow, meow. And then stretch your left leg out. Twisting, reaching, breathing, please. Reaching through the foot. Don't forget your toes and your heels. So sweet. And lift that left arm up and easy. Bring both legs in. Stretch them out. For your mind, we lift up. Fold over and see how it is. Oh, wow. I'm so much further than I was. Oh, you're at your toes. Good job. Breathing. Good. Try to put your ankles a little bit together. Little toes towards your ear. Where'd she go? So cute. The position of the witness, the folded position. A moment to take a review of how it is, what it is. Let's walk the hands back on in. Bring the knees and let's go into child's pose. So, knees are wide apart. Big toes touch. Walk on down. Try and get your knees way open unless you have issues. This is Dana. <laughs> Con cuidado, con cuidado. Walk your hands out easy. Settle your tailbone back on your heels and softly bow down to the earth. Bow down to the mother. Circulate your energy. Allow yourself reprieve and pause, encouraging that movement of your cerebral spinal fluid, of your chi, of your kundalini, your life force, allowing that heart, the head to be below the heart. This particular opportunity to pause, to notice the subtlety as the breath moves into the back ribs. Forehead to the earth. It's sweet, sweet the mother. May she reign supreme, right? And shed her grace on us. Relax, restore, rebalance self. There you are, David. Okay. And easy, lift up your fingertips. I mean, no, that's wrong. Dig your fingertips into the earth. Lift up your palms and your wrists and your forearms and kind of shake and shimmy. Loosen up the shoulders. Good job. Lay the hands down and then lift up onto all fours. So we'll find ourselves, oops, find ourselves in cat-cow, that kind of traditional articulation of the spine. Saggy horse, cranky cat. Oh, there's a little cat here. She's not cranky. There she is. She's so cute. It's quite an event out here today. Beautiful weather, cats and dogs. And <laughs> I don't know what this herd is called of yogis, but 
So slide your chest forward and look up at the sky. And then round, articulate, flip the tailbone to the earth, press the earth away and look through your thighs. Just find that mobility in your spine. Just creating a pulse, a breath, a circulation. And then you can wag your tail side to side. And let's bring the arms together. So the inside arms, you're gonna look at your fingers, fingertips at the earth, forefinger and thumb strongly pressed in, thumbs reaching towards each other, inner elbows reaching towards each other, shoulders away from the ears, belly connected to the backbone. Mm -hmm. And lift up your left leg, toes to the ground. Strong arms, even hips, breathing in and breathing out. And go ahead today and bring up your right arm. Working with the brain, hello. The brain, we wanna be schmat. Breathing, energy, lift them a little higher and lower down. Bring the elbow to the knee and stretch the leg and arm back. And exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Once more, inhale, last time, exhale. And inhale, lift a little higher, and lower down. Cat cow. That mobility of the pelvis, that ability to massage the organs from the outside, to increase the oxygen content of your body, circulation, wag the tail, <laughs> and easy. Come back into the center. Go ahead and organize the midline of your arms. Lift up that right leg, toes to the ground, strong arms. That's good, good adjustment. Breathe in, breathe out. Anything on the ground is your support. The top of your foot or the curled toes is fine. And easy, lift that left arm up by your ear, reaching through the fingers. Good job, strong arms. If you tremble, that's so exciting. Nothing makes us tremble much anymore. Breathing, clear out that nervous system. And then easy, bring that elbow to the knee and stretch out, I almost had you going somewhere else. Exhale, round the back, extend out. Two more. Knee to elbow, curl it in. Good job. A little higher, lift it, and lower down. Cat cow. Uh-oh. So a little bit of a respite, flip the hands around. <laughs> so if you've been particularly bossy lately, <laughs> you should be crying by now. Or if you've been on the computer a lot, try and get the fingers to your knees. Thumbs around the out, facing the outside of the mat. Curl the toes under, round the back, and pretend you want to sit on your heels as you cry. <sighs> Oh, you're always working with numbers. Sit back a little more there, guy. <laughs> Come on, girl. Are you crying? <laughs> Try and round your back a little more. That's good. And extend your forearms. Breathe through the forearms. Good job. Wow. Ah. Two more breaths. One, two and rise back up and undo your hands, sit on your curled toes, just go, ah, ah. Careful, David, you can do this part with your hands. How is it, Danny? Well, squeeze in, make a strong fist. Don't just be like Mamby Pamby, like rah, rah, rah. Whatever gets caught up in our bodies, we really can release it sweetly to the earth that's for sure 
Now come back and squeeze your toes. Choom, choom, choom. Toe fists. An alternative for your balance is to put your thumb towards the front of the mat and fold in on the top of your, aha, uh -huh, exactly. And then pull the elbows together and press on the thumb. That way you can even go up into down dog that way. You'll find it. It'll be better if your wrists are hurting you. So easy. Wag your tail. Let's try a down dog. Easy. Sit back on your heels. Look again at your hands so that you get a visual on your hands. Midline of the arms organize themselves. Lift the hips up. Lift the heels up. Go right up ahead into downward facing dog. Heels and tailbone to the sky. Press the earth away from you. Breathe in, breathe out. And now alternate the heels dropping towards the mat. Pulse your ribs back towards your thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Okie dokie, and both heels down. Three breaths, strong and organized. Reaching, so using the earth as your support. And then hinge into plank. Oh, yeah. All right, 10 breaths in plank. It's Thanksgiving. We give thanks. We give thanks for our strength. Keep your head in line with your spine. Keep your elbow creases pulling towards each other. Activate your upper bosoms. Breathe in, breathe out. Push the heels away. Ah, are you shaking yet? Runs a little higher, Lee. That's good. Heels away. And is that 10 breaths? Nine. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 don't give up. And then drop your knees softly. Remember that we need to be able to bear our own weight, right? So then you have extra strength to help others. Elbows stay in, rump stays high, bosoms drop to the thumbs. Elbows are squeezed in against your ribs. Decompress your gut. Your intestines release, relax. Then slide your legs on back. Slide your forearms forward. Roll your heart forward and you'll be in proud sphinx without any effort. <sighs> Pulling the ribs away from the pubic bone, squeezing the wing bones in. That's good, Terry. Got your suntan lotion on? <laughs> I'm from the far north. <laughs> see if you can see your heel and the other heel. It's good breathing. Oh, very good. Pull your shoulders back. Look up at the sky. Oh, stretch this time. Look up a little higher. Good. And roll on down. Hands underneath the shoulders. Elbows are in. Lift up to all fours. Curl the toes and sit back on your heels. Elbows stay in. Hinge up to downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Let your left leg reach up to the sky and open up into fire hydrant. Lease the knee towards the sky. Drop your left foot over your body. Strong arms. One more breath. Straighten out the leg. Look, bring the knee to your chest and grab that left foot between your hands. Find yourself in runner's lunge. If you need to drop the back knee, of course, grab the foot, drag it all the way to the front. Take a little more space, Andrew. So you get off your kneecap. Yep, scoochie that back knee back. So find yourself in a runner's lunge first. Fingers and toes are in the same line. Shoulders are down. Back heel is up. Good, breathe in. Lower that back knee. So you're off the kneecap. Flatten the back foot. Bring your fingers right by your toes. Drag your foot forward. More, more like six inches. Just drag the darn thing. 
Good, so you get more excitement through the groin, right? Sink your hips, lift your chest. Look up, hold on to the front knee. Good, come off that kneecap, lunge, lunge, roll, lift. Good and easy. You can stretch the arms up, maybe. Slide down the heart line. Spin off with both elbows to the left side. Good job. Looking up towards the sky. That's good. Secure with anything that's on the ground. That's your support. Good job. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> And then easy, back into the center, so cute. Fingers are by the front toes. Wish my cat was that obedient. Fingers are by the front toes, curl the back toes, hinge your rump towards the back heel, pull the front toes towards your nose. Just cry, baby, cry. If you thought the forearms were bad, kind of spin the hips a little bit. Oh, how have you missed this, Mr. Noble? <laughs> Are you breathing? <sighs> Wiggle your hips a little. Pull the toes towards your nose. Stretch your chest out over your knee. Oh, those of you that are like cooked spaghetti. Are you breathing? <laughs> can slide that heel a little bit forward. Some of you can go into the splits, don't you think? Especially, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, what happened? Where's your other leg, young thing? Wakeboard, oh there, what the heck? Yeah, <laughs> hello, into the splits. Mr. Cohen, don't do the splits. Breathe in, breathe out. Drop down, drop down. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift up. Oh, mercy. You could use your brick now as a good, a good plan. And then easy. Slide, slide that foot back. Curl the back toe. Lift up the back knee. <laughs> now, normally, if we weren't on cement, we'd be doing reindeer hops to get your cardio going, but go ahead and step back into plank. Drop your knees, drop your chest, easy, flat on your stomach, hands offside your shoulders, lift your chest up. Shoulders are down and back, stretch your belly, good. Shoulders are down, good. And then roll on down, hands underneath your shoulders, hinge up into a tabletop. Breathe, ah, good. Curl the toes, sit back on your heels. Raise your buns up, buns eye. Buns up into down dog. Midline of the arms are strong. Right leg up to the sky. Open up the right hip. Good job. <laughs> Breathing, open that knee a little higher, Lee, and then put your foot over towards Terry. It's a fire hydrant. You don't want to pee on your knee. Lift your knee. There, there you go. That's silly. And bring the leg back, look between your thumbs, step forward. Bring the knee to your chest and drag that front foot. What you really want to make sure is that you have a lot of distance between the heel the front right heel and the back knee. So lift yourself up into the runner's lunge. Breathe. Drop the knee down, flatten the foot. Drag that foot forward so you have lots of room. Right here is a good amount of stretch, yes or no? Yes. Bring your foot forward so the knee is safely over the top of the foot. And then 
slide that knee back more. So this knee wants to be right over front knee, lift the chest, hold on to the front thigh, lift the chest, lunge a little bit off that kneecap, careful. I know, because put your little rag underneath. Oh, left arm up, right arm up, slide on down, roll off to the side. You can press that knee in and take the upper thigh, breathe in, breathe out. Good, look to your right, that's good. I, the world, the world is amazing. <laughs> breathing? Are you breathing? <laughs> I didn't hear you breathing. <laughs> and carefully back into the center. Hands end up. Good job, Mamacita. Fingers end up in line with the front toes. Curl the back toe under. Let your tailbone reach back to the back heel. That front toe comes towards your nose. Oh, it's so real. It's so real. Good job, Johnny. Pull the toes, front toes to the nose. Cry, breathe. There you go. Those of you that want to head out softly into the splits, go right ahead. David, how can you do the splits today? Mr. Cohen on your chair. <laughs> Breathing, lifting up. <sighs> Good job. And then easy, slide it back if you need to, back into the lunge, curl the back toe, lift the knee, step into plank. <sighs> ah, you love plank. Exhale, hinge into down dog. <sighs> Inhale into plank. Exhale into down dog. <sighs> Inhale into plank. All the way plank. Exhale into down dog. Inhale into plank. Nice. Go ahead and drop down all the way to chaturanga if you're in the mood. Otherwise, drop your knees. Slide your hands forward. Easy. Go into up dog. Ah, roll back down, hands underneath the shoulders, sit back, cross your legs. Ah, scoot yourself forward. You might want to turn around so your head's in the shape and you can lay down on your backs. Some of you might want to take a drink of water. Good. Good. So tuck your pillow under your head if you wish. Lay down on your backs. So you can tuck your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. And remember that fascinating part of the design of the temple. How they fit the rocks together, how we fit the bones together and that tapestry of the muscles and ligaments and tendons. And along the way, somehow our palm fits perfectly on our kneecap. It just tucks right in there. So tuck your thighs into your chest and then spin those thighs around in individual circles, releasing any tension in the lower back and relaxing certainly the hip sockets, that synovial fluid, go the other direction, breathing, <sighs> massaging. And easy, tuck those knees into the chest, inhale, exhale, eyelid, eye sockets to the kneecaps. Lay the body down softly. Drop the feet onto the ground with the knees bent. Open the feet out. We'll go kind of speedy through this one. I don't want to keep you too long, but we started late. Knees rest against each other. Feet out in a 
at the edge of your mat, arms in a T. Take a nice deep breath in and let both knees drop to your left side. Let your left foot jump up onto the outer right thigh. So you actually help that elongation. Good job. And easy, exhale, lower back onto your backs. Realign the hips and the shoulders. Inhale, lift the hips up. And this time you have to think a little bit. You're gonna swing both hips to the left, drop them down, tuck the knees to the waist and roll to your right side. The top arm joins the lower arm. The shoulders are stacked up, the hips are stacked up. And easy, let your hand go to your eyes and turn away your head and shoulders from your knees. Twist, twine, ring out the kidneys, create space in the torso, stretch the body. And then easy, roll back onto your backs, grab your bottoms and realign the hips with the shoulders so you're nice and flat on the ground, arms overhead, breathe in, lift your head and reach towards the sky and watch your fingers as you thread the needle. Left hand through the triangle, right hand on the thigh, tuck the knees into the chest, and relax the body down. Keep the feet flexed to protect the knees. Feel the back of your skull on the ground. Tailbones down. You can extend that right leg if you wish. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Good idea. And then easy. Lower that right leg down. Unhook the feet and bounce the hips down on the ground. The sacrum. Go ahead. It doesn't matter if it's cement or wood. Bounce those hips down. That sacrum is strong enough to take it. Break up <laughs> any coagulation, any of that stagnation, any of that stuff from sitting all the time. Chip, 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 chip. Rub your, I mean, grab your hands around your shins. Fold your body in again. Lay the feet out. Feet are wide on the mat. Knees rest against each other. Stretch your arms overhead. Breathe in. Stay there with the arms long. Breathe out. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Bring the arms to a T. Inhale and exhale to your right side. Tuck that right foot up on top of the left knee. Breathe. So the spiral of your body, that coiled serpent at the base of your spine, we continue to activate that idea of rising, energy rising, spaciousness in the body. Breathe in, breathe out. On your exhale, flatten the belly to the backbone, grab your hips, realign the hips with the shoulders, lift the hips up. So your points that are touching the ground are strong and connected. Swing your hips to the right, drop the hips down and bring that top arm over to the lower arm. Roll to your left side. Bring both arms, stack up your shoulders. Let that knee go all the way down if you can, Terry. Ah, that's good. And then if you're in the mood, take that right hand on your eyes and look away from your knees. Spiral that spine. How are you guys doing? Good job. It feels great. You know, it feels great to notice the suppleness in your body, the way it can move how the breath activates and elongates. That's good, Will. Those knees are down. One more breath. Oh. 
There's the wild child, another dog. And easy, roll back onto your backs, realign the hips and the shoulders, arms inhale overhead. Exhale, thread the needle, lift your head so you can see what you're doing. Right arm through the triangle, left hand to the outer thigh, tuck it in and relax down. Flex your feet or push through the heels. One side will be more lenient than the other, like one parent. Breathe in, breathe out. I hear grunting. Grunting's interesting. <laughs> okay, that's good, Johnny. Reach, lift a little higher. That's it, good. Bless you, breathe. Lift your left leg a little for, uh, up a little bit, Sherry. Your foot, your, yeah. Yeah, there you are. Oh, well, that's good. You can go all the way up. <laughs> and then lower down easy. Unhook the legs, bounce the pelvis, bounce the sacrum. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And easy, here you go. Arms are going to be by your side. Your knees are bent. You're going to make little fists. And we just hit the inversion at the end of class today. So take your little fists, slide your arms straight by your body, lift your rump up and slip your arms underneath your bottom. Your elbows will grip your ribs. Your biceps are sliding underneath your upper shoulders. Tuck the knees in and straighten the soles of the feet to the sky. Keep the back of your skull organized, your wing bones. Open up the body, change the circulation. Open yourself so that in, in inner waterfall releases the valves of your arteries in your legs. You bring that cosmic circulation to your digestion. No crimping in the body, you're in an L shape. Your ribs expand with your breath and you bring fresh oxygenated blood to your complexion, to your brain, breathing in, breathing out. If you tremble, again, if you tremble, that's just the nervous system realigning. Try and bring the legs together. That's excellent. Keep the legs up there, chikimulas. Breathing. If they tremble, that's just your nervous system. Reach through the heels. Reach to the inner meridian of your legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Straighten the back of your knees. Push yourself a little bit. Certainly those of you that want to go up into shoulder stand, you're more than welcome. But in the meantime, that's good. That's good. Try not to be wobbly. Notice if you have one leg longer than another. Three more breaths. Breathe in. That's good job, Susan. Good. Walk your hands up towards your bra line. There you go. Straighten your knees. You're much better, Andrew. Good job, Will. And softly slide the knees in towards the forehead or the chest. Slowly roll the feet onto the ground. Lift your bottom up. Take your arms by your side and move your hands around if you were in a simple inversion. Take the arms by your side, palms down. Ribs, grip, uh, elbows, ribs, glued together. Going into fish pose. As you slide the legs forward, your chest and heart pop up to the heavens and the crown of your head reaches and arcs back towards the earth. Lift your chest, expose the viscera, engage the midline of your legs, Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Heart is high. Press on your arms. Beautiful, Lee and Linda. Beautiful. Get your chest a little higher, Terry. It's hard with the pillow. Breathe in, breathe out. Good job. Chest to the sky. Three more breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Careful, Brenda. One more breath. Inhale, lift your head up, good turn. Lift your head up and easy. Take your arms by your side. I mean, no, your arms up towards your feet. Lift your head, look at your legs. Make yourself into a little V, 30 breaths. In and out through the nose, flattening the stomach on the exhale. If you go bizarrely extreme, you can lower, lower down. Otherwise, just you can even hold your head. Just pump the body, pump the body. 10 more breaths. We're almost there. Breathe in, squeeze. And exhale, let everything lay down on the ground. Spread your legs, spread your arms. Take a nice deep breath. Let your eyes sink into the sockets. Let your lips be plump. Try not to squirm around in particular. Let yourself be easy. Just notice the magnificence of yourself. Notice your breath, your heartbeat, your permeable, breathable skin. Notice how you sink into the earth, into the arms of the mother. Notice that ether body. Notice that ether body, how easy the ether body is, how the sweet wind blows across your skin. Simply breathe in and breathe out. The body will naturally rebalance itself. And find yourself in that humble position where you thank yourself for showing up, taking care of your vessel. We move in towards the full moon next Monday. We move in towards collective prayer, giving of thanks. We participate in this global prayer for well being, for the end to suffering, for a sense of peace. Easy. Letting your breath guide you back into your body. You could stay for a while. <laughs> Easy. Sweetly. Surrounded by that golden honey-like sweetness, that amrit of the gods. The nervous system is balanced. Physically, you feel wonderful, mentally peaceful. That mindful contentment. So easy, let the breath get a little larger and move your belly. Let the breath expand and extend into your fingers and your toes. Easy, wiggle your fingers, let your thumb slide across your fingertips.
Notice how that feels, how smooth it feels, how you reconnect with the nervous system. Take a nice deep inhale and on the exhale, let your hands wrap towards your heart. Just come in and give yourself that moment of grace, acknowledging the spaciousness and graciousness, joy in the abundance, the fellow travelers on this trail, this path. Go ahead and twine your fingers or lace the fingers and roll the arms and stretch up and overhead way up and over behind you. Wiggle a little bit, flutter your eyelashes, move your mouth around, step your straight legs together and point your toes. Wow, and push your heels. And then exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Open up that lower back and then easy, you can roll off to either side you wish. Whichever is more comfortable or natural for you, pausing there and then pressing up into a seated position that's comfortable for you. Just sit easy and acknowledge your earth boundedness, your rootedness and seatedness. You get to be part of that bigger picture, an extension of the earth, an extension of the heavens. And easy, stretch your arms out from your wing bones, really reach through your fingertips, take up a lot of space. Inhale up and overhead, press the palms and fingers together, glue your thumbs and baby fingers and burst open your other fingers like the petals of the lotus blossom. Create your cup, your chalice and humbly slide down your heart line. Receiving all that cosmic juice, nestling your thumbs at your breastplate, exhaling the fingertips together softly, letting the palms cup around the precious flower blossom. And we repeat and repeat, and we find ourselves in that ancient and sacred greeting where for centuries we have all bowed and greeted and welcomed and honored that sparkly, pulsing light within ourselves, that great spirit within ourselves and others. And we know the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood. We thank ourselves for being present and a part of. Thank you so much for being part of this noon outdoor family event. So thank you so much, Urban Yoga. Thank you guys so much online. Namaste. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving if I don't see you. Thank you so much.